Welcome back, friends. Thanks for being here. Steve, KM9G. And I was going over some things, and I thought to myself, this Arduino Uno has a built-in serial port. And I wonder if we can take apart the Baofeng programming cable that we made in a GitHub repository that I will link in the description below, and we've used in a couple of videos in the past, um, and program our Baofeng with our Arduino Uno. Stick around, let's see if we can do it. Oh, and uh, this thing right here really helps out. Thank you. Okay, we have our Raspberry Pi and we have our Baofeng UV5R and we have an Arduino Uno. I actually had to dig through my supplies and play with a couple of different models before I could get this far. So I have this Arduino Uno that did not work. This is a generic knockoff. And I actually went through all the trouble to solder in pin headers thinking that it was just a loose connection or something. That wasn't it. This generic one does not work. I have this one, which is a slightly less generic, slightly more generic. I don't know. This one actually even has writing on it that it is a mini, that it is a Mega 2560 Pro Mini. Um, this one also did not do the job. This one, however, is an official Arduino version, even though it doesn't say it on this side of the board, it might say it on the other side. But when you plug it into the machine, it does come up and report that it is an Arduino Uno R3. And uh, it does, it actually works. So be aware that this probably only works with genuine, real, 100% authentic, uh, ras um, I keep wanting to say Raspberry Pi, Arduinos. Okay. You're not going to be able to see this very well on camera, but it is actually written on the board what these different pins are all over the place. And there are diagrams online. Um, so what we want to do is first we want to wire the reset pin in. And if you look down here, it says reset on the board. So I want to put a DuPont wire into the reset hole. I put it into the one right next to it. So be careful. If it doesn't work, you probably put it in the wrong hole. Into the reset hole and then attach the reset line to one of these ground lines right here. It'll actually say GND on the board, so you can't miss it. And then this is the programming cable that we made up. And I just put some pin headers inside of the DuPont wires to make them connectable to the thing. And red is my receive line. You wanna plug that into the TX line or pin one on the Arduino. And then yellow is my transmit line from my Baofeng, and I wanna plug that into the receive line, creating a little bit of a crossover there. And then black is my ground, and there's another ground line right over here. So we'll plug that into ground, and then we'll plug that into the Raspberry Pi. So now I've got the Raspberry Pi plugged into the Arduino, and the Arduino plugged into the Baofeng, and I've got the reset line held low. This would be the same thing as if you just sat there and, and held that reset button by hand, but that's gonna be a little bit of a pain. So we'll move that out of the way. On the Baofeng, as always, you wanna make sure that these connections are firmly plugged in and you want to turn it on and move to a empty channel. And we'll switch over to screen capture mode. Okay, on our Raspberry Pi, this is the Raspberry Pi that we set up in the previous video. Do the not start menu. Accessory. Erp. Go download. We will have this ACM zero. AMA port is the um, three point three volt. TTL port that's built into the Raspberry Pi that will not work unless you get a voltage divider. 
or you happen to already have one or you have enough spare parts to make one. So we're going to say AMC0 Balfang UV5R and we're going to click OK, OK to start cloning and away it goes. If we look back at our Arduino, you can see the little lights dancing, blinking, doing their things. And there it is. Everything has been imported. Radio, upload to radio, CM0, Balfang B5R. And she's uploading. See those little lights going? See the radio light going. There we go. That was pretty painless. All right, UV5R, snap circuits, Arduino. That was the one that worked. Um, put the two of them together and it's just a quick way to play around with the hobby and do something fun and here it is. If you've made the cable from before, you already have the FT232, the FTDI chipset adapter. So kind of unnecessary, but things in a hobby, you let me know. Thanks for being awesome.